young maker. I am 80 years old. Today I want to talk about my life. I am a young maker. I make the things from zero to three. This was one of my first creation and internal combustion model. I don't have the real photo as my father told me when he saw it. I don't know why I become a maker. My father told me that I used to solve puzzles even when I was a little child. At four, I got my first robotic kit and I started my complex project with a little bit of programming. My inner passion: make new things, be it robotics, electronics, or just something new. Some of the robots I made. My first robots. This is a four-wheel drive car with steering control. It's a tricycle model. By turning its front wheel, it can move around. It's a house cleaning robot model. It has two sensors to avoid collision. It has two big motors to move around in the house. It has two vertical motors in the back, which wipe the floor. This is a walking stick for the blind model. The sensor can detect drop triggers and sound an alarm. It can also produce sound for others to hear. This is the same thing made with Arduino. This is a humanoid robot. This can move its hand and shoot. This is a robotic hand which can pick any type of object. Then I started learning electronics and Arduino with which now I started making new things. This is a digital box. This is a digital box which can show hours and minutes, and also we can adjust time. Here I'm using persistence of motion. You might have seen that all the displays are all at the same time. This is game test your hand speed and count once. This is my latest invention. This is smart treatment, which can change the condition of the vehicles through sensors and do all the necessary actions to ensure the safety of the passengers. Maybe. Making new things is my talent, but it's not only the talent which which took me to the world's largest event and also brought me here to big venue from a small home in just four months. I want to share my experience on what happened to me in last four months. I want to share my experience because I want other youngsters to get inspired the way I got inspired. I want them to chase their dreams the way I did. Though I was a maker from a very young age, I never went to any exhibition till the beginning of this year. My family was the only support for my creations. It all changed from lazy Sunday morning, seventeen January of this year. My dad saw me take over a thirteen-year-old boy presenting at nearby. Make a weekend at Poseidon College. We thought if a thirteen-year-old could do it, so could I. We went there, and the organizers, now my close friends, were kind enough to give me a chance to present my robot to other senior makers and college students. First, they asked my father whether he would present the robot, but I said no. I want to do it. That was the first time I faced such a large crowd. But as per my father and the organizers, I presented very nicely. Everybody became very interested. It gave me a lot of confidence and introduced me to a lot of friends who were helping me learn. Just think about it. If we had decided not to go there, my life would have been entirely different. I also would have. Definitely miss the next episode of my life. The people I met at the makeup fair weekend 
told me on the Maker Fest, which was my next episode. Maker Fest is the largest fest in India, organized by the Adi Murbani Foundation, conducted every year at Ahmedabad. There is only one week left for it, and it is all big planning. But we decided to, which again changed my life dramatically. I was the youngest maker of the Mega Fest on the bus, and the good thing about being young is you get lot of friends quickly. I got a lot of friends, mentors, and the mentors from across India. Another good thing happened is I got to use new technologies, so I was able to think about more advanced projects, which now I have started realizing. My thing got changed a lot, and again, which was the next stepping stone. People I met at the Mega Fest encouraged me to go to an international level event. Mega Fair at Silicon Valley USA is the largest fest in the world for robotics and makers. Almost two lakh people visit show every year, and it has many major companies and makers show their show their inventions. For me, at that time, it was impossible. What would happen is we again decided to go. Thanks to a lot of good friends and Kerala startup mission, I could finally exit. Make a fair was a huge function. I met a lot of legends from the industry. Was able to visit many major companies and uh, universities like Stanford and MIT Media Lab. Met few professors who I hadn't even dreamed of meeting. Made a lot of friends from across the globe, and again, as usual, linked to the next stepping stone. All these happened in just few months, and all these are linked. My parents or myself at any stage thought that what we are aiming is not meant for a child of my age. I would have been still sitting in my home. But now I'm standing here among all these great people, only because we believe we could. So this is my story, and the message I'm conveying to you is: Don't ever stop dreaming. If you're really passionate in something, keep chasing that dream. Don't ever think that whatever you are targeting is beyond you can reach. But simply go for it. For me, now I'm working on many new things. I want to improve the design of a screen robot with vacuum cleaning and strong platform. I want to complete the assignment of house screen of a dosha making robot. I want to patent my smart sheet pen and improve the design and see whether it can be really implemented in vehicle. I'm planning to approach vehicle manufacturers for it. I have started a YouTube channel, Far and Sword, for sharing my knowledge and experience, and I'll keep trying to new maker events across the globe. I'm inviting you all to the journey with technology. Happy making! Thank you.